this session is, is, is going to be a bit more practical than the, um, the previous one in that the four companies here today are uh, delivery companies working extensively in the global overlay market. And what we hope to tell you uh, this morning and demonstrate to you that we have uh, British companies delivering international best practice at events around the globe. Um, my colleagues are Joe O'Neill from Arena Group, Robert Wells from Agreco, and Dave Crump from CT, all having a, uh, a, very, um, a very huge involvement in the uh, Olympics as a, uh, as a whole. We, we haven't got very much time here today, and we discussed how we would get over to you, you know, what we do, how we do it, and use a, an example that you all would have probably seen on your, on, on your television sets. Um, every one of these companies has been invo involved extensively uh, on many of the venues, and, um, but we just chose one venue, the Beach Volleyball Project, that uh, we all had a hand in, and as we're going to tell that story through these four presentations today. Now, f for our part, ES Global, uh, for those of you who don't know, we've been involved in the event business for many years now, um, yeah, dating back sort of 25, 30 years, starting off in the music business. And we've developed our systems to allow now uh, for our, uh, to build modular um, arenas. And this allowed London to look at the water polo venue and the shooting venue as modular relocatable arenas, which could enclose five, 7,000 people around a field of play and then go away after the games. Now, obviously, we've heard a lot about sustainability today and legacy, but um, what we think and the way that the process is going in terms of um, how legacy is delivered out of these structures is through reuse. And the reuse is the most important part of how the temporary or the delivery of temporary structures is going to be a thread throughout the delivery of future games, not just Olympic Games, but FIFA World Cups, Commonwealth Games, all of which we've worked on in the past, but now we are demonstrating how the supply side of the business now becomes, <coughs> excuse me, more involved at the early stage of planning. And I think something that will be demonstrated by us today is that, some, and something that we encourage greatly, is the early involvement of the supply chain at design stage. And it's not something that's very natural to architects and designers that they would encourage the design um, team or the delivery team to come in at design stage. But we're finding that there's true value in us being at the table at conception stage. A very uh, successful example of this is the beach volleyball in that the team at LOCOG, together with Populous, came up with the idea of having a beach volleyball venue in Horse Guards Parade. That's mad. It's mad if you've got six months to build it. You've only got six weeks to build it. And so you're building something the size of Wimbledon Centre Court with all of its uh, services. It's got to be a world-class venue, and you've only got six weeks to do it. Now... What LOCOG did was they called the experts and they asked us to the table very, very early and asked us, can it be done? And if it can be done, how can we do it? And we spent probably 18 months working with the team there, trying to work out how we would do this quite extraordinary thing. Why us? Why did they, why did they, why did they choose us to, to, to talk to? Well, we've had huge experience of working in Horse Guards Parade for the last 10, 15, 20 years. 
um, supplying most of the infrastructure to the national celebrations that go on there. We had intimate knowledge of the, of the place itself. We knew where we could put loads, how the loads would react, what we needed to protect. Within our team also, we had a great relationship with all of the stakeholders, the Metropolitan Police, Parks, Westminster, and we know these people and we can go and talk to these people and give these people confidence that, yep, well, it sounds a bit crazy, guys, but yep, we can do this thing and we can do it in six weeks. We did feasibility studies, we gave information that allowed local to write a tender document that could then be put out, successfully tendered, and the project is then up and running. I'm going to hand over to Joe O'Neill now. Arena were the main contractors on the Horse Guards Parade project, and uh, he's going to tell you quite a story. <laughs> 